Hey what's up metalheads, hope you're doing fine out there, welcome to my channel. So today's video is a tutorial video on how I put guitar tabs on my guitar videos. I've been getting a lot of requests to cover this topic and today I found some time so let's do it. Before we continue, I just created my Patreon account and it will be more than helpful if you can support me there. So let's jump right in. So you will be needing three softwares to do this. One is Guitar Pro, another one is Premiere Pro. You can use pretty much any software but for today's video I am using Premiere Pro and OBS of course to record your screen. When you open OBS click on this plus icon and then display capture. Name it anything you like. Right now I will name it tab capture and hit OK and then capture method leave it to automatic so i'm using two displays right now but my main display is this so i click on this and then hit ok here you go simple as that and then open up guitar pro make sure these windows are not there click on this and then this icon then go to view and select screen horizontal also make sure you uncheck this setting called highlight current played bar and then zoom in a little bit like so maybe a little bit out yeah this looks fine for this instance i'll use the solo from my song i will return click from where you want the guitar tabs and then go to obs and click start recording right now it's showing stop recording for me because my recording is already running get rid of this window maybe put it here and press play I will fast forward this section. So when you're done screen recording the tabs, hit stop recording. Then close your Guitar Pro. Locate the screen captured file on your PC. For me it's saved right here in the videos. By default it's always in this video tab on PC. So this is my file. I'll just import it to Premiere Pro. Click on media browser. Okay so this is my file just drag it to your timeline so this is a bug in premiere pro sometimes you cannot drag and drop the file directly over to timeline i will also show you how to fix this right click click on import then right click on the video you just imported and then select new sequence from clip and then just drag this onto this timeline here you go this video is captured in 2K and my timeline in Premiere Pro is 1080 so I have to zoom it out a bit I'll go to effect control and then zoom out to fit it on my current timeline like this so I'll just cut the video where the tab has started playing and it's right here hit control K on your keyboard delete rest of the part so I'll use it till here, the solo section only. Then locate the section you want the tabs on. For me it's somewhere around here. I have my guitar performances rendered video and imported it in Premiere Pro again just to show you guys. Now I'll scroll to the solo section. So it's somewhere around here, I'll hit M, it'll put a marker in here and then just drag and drop my tabs there. So it's looking pretty good in a first attempt. Make sure your tabs are lining up perfectly. Sometimes in a song where there is a tempo change these tabs will not align so I have a solution for that also in this case it will align perfectly because I know the tempo and my guitar pro tempo and my DAW tempo matches perfectly but in some cases it might not work so here's how you can sync 
those parts also so if your tabs are not aligning you can always cut it and then right click and click on speed duration and then work your way around it like if it's going too fast then turn down the speed to 99 if it's going too slow you can turn up the speed to 102 or any number that fits for you so now when your tabs are aligned perfectly go to windows effects and search crop just drag it on your guitar tabs like this and you need one another effect also type invert and drag and drop this also like this so now prop this part which we really don't need click on top and then gradually increase it this much is fine we don't need to crop from the bottom because we can always move the whole video like this perfect so when you have the tabs aligned up to the video let's make it more cooler click on the video and then go to opacity turn it down to like 80 percent voila here you go now you can see the video which is playing behind the tabs you can always adjust it to your need like 85 and work your way around it it looks cool to me you can always adjust the placement of the tabs like this so here you go all you gotta do is export the video i'm sure you know how to do that so that's it for today's video i hope it helped make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon and follow me on patreon thank you bye bye